A Pizza with Everything on It by Kyle Scheel, illustrated by Andy J. Pizza. That's his name. When your dad owns a pizza shop, you can have whatever kind of pizza you want. So when dad asked me what I was hungry for, I said, give me a pizza with everything on it. Dad said, everything? I said, everything. Dad tossed the dough while I stirred the sauce. We put down three different kinds of cheese and added a fourth just to be safe. Cheddar, Swiss, mozzarella, mysterious fourth cheese. We started with the basics. Pepperoni, sausage, tomato, peppers, even those little mushrooms that look like noses. Dad said, perfect. But I said, no, Dad, I want a pizza with everything on it. Dad ran across the street and came back with his arms full of groceries, pickles, ice cream cone, an entire turkey. All of it went on the pizza. Dad said, perfect. But I said, no, Dad, I want a pizza with everything on it. Dad got a mischievous look in his eyes. I knew exactly what he was thinking. Everything, eh? Everything. In a flash, Dad threw his rolling pin onto the pizza followed by his chef's hat. I put the blender on top and dad added a table and chairs. Books, pencils, and a notebook fell down onto the pizza as I turned my backpack upside down. Dad said, perfect. But I said, no dad, I want a pizza with everything on it. Dad said, I think we're gonna need to take this outside. Dad rolled the pizza onto the street as I rode my pizza, uh, my bicycle up onto the toppings. Dad added, a dog house, a tree house, and then a real house, then the white house. But something was about to go terribly wrong. Perhaps it was the addition of the particle accelerator, or perhaps because the weight of the pizza simply became greater than what the crust could bear. Whatever it was, it was bad. Take a look at this pizza. Oh my gosh, what? Just as dad was pushing the wheelbarrow full of penguins to the top of the pizza, there was a loud pop, then a crunch. Then we started to fall. In the blink of an eye, the pizza began to collapse in on itself. Everything was speeding toward the center of the pizza. I grabbed dad's hand. Dad grabbed the crust. We held on for dear life. It's a pizza black hole, dad shouted. Everything is being sucked in. Underpants. Everything, I yelled back. Dad gulped, everything. Dads are awfully strong, but black holes are stronger, especially pizza black holes. I can't hang on anymore, dad yelled. Together, we flew together into the swirling pizza vortex. Then everything went black and everything stayed black, as black as burnt pizza crust. Then a boom and a pizza big bang. The universe exploded into a burst of toppings. Everything was pizza. Dad and I were launched through a pizza gallery and into our pizza solar system. We flew towards a pizza earth and into our pizza town the statue of pizza. We landed back at our pizza shop, or should I say our pizza pizza shop. Dad looked at me. Perfect, he said, a little unsure. Perfect. The end. Whoa. For this project, trace something round like a plate to be your pizza. Add a crust, then put your face above the pizza. I'm gonna start with the eyes, just like the artist, Andy J. Pizza, likes to make. He has really simple faces. Next, add your cheeks and your ear and your hair. I've got bangs, make sure it goes above your head, and a little ponytail, and I've got glasses too. Add any other details that make it look like you. Also add some hands. I'm just doing three fingers because this is a cartoon, so we can do stuff like that. 
Next, draw anything on your pizza that you like. This is a self-portrait, so you could draw foods you like, like actual pizza toppings. Add anything you like, people, animals, uh, sports, the weirder the better. Next, let's add some color. I like this technique a lot. You trace the edge of something hard with crayon. Push really hard so the color's dark. And then you color inside and it's light. It's got a very neat little appearance. Fill your whole picture with color. Hey, you look great. 